okay so are you ready okay so uh, we are going to start with the group presentation of the students uh, this is the last text fifth group and this text is the sense of an ending by julian barnes and uh, this time the group has uh, adopted a new way of presenting they have done a pre recording of all the presentations and today we will have around 1 hour and 40 minutes and uh, around uh, two hours we will have tomorrow so in this two phases uh, this presentation will be made uh, today uh, they are not able to make it in i spring or uh, uploaded on youtube so online students will be seeing it directly from, from the project screen <coughs> so it is possible that you may not get a clear picture uh, when you are watching it online or maybe a little bit of sound problem also you may face but i hope uh, in tomorrow's presentation they'll be able to make either i spring or online from where they will be able to make clear presentations also okay so uh, the the group members can now start their presentation uh, yes you can start now I think they have to unmute their mic. Voice is not audible, sir. No, still sound is not coming.
Hello. This is working. This is working. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. 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 Yes. Yes. Now you guys are okay. Hello. 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 Hello.
perhaps in Buddha's time, the navigation, who came this new and keep you to understand that now. So I might have been tempted to take both in the contention. And another question was asked to me that what was the last rule that it came not be? And here are this question, he makes a very, very very coherent argument about the very effectiveness of the idea of being. He answered that probably Yenis Babakatis talking to my daughter about the economy. So my previous understanding of the economy is to that exactly be described as him. Furthermore, the Yenis Babakatis is a view of agnosticism. So in the popular sense, an agnostic is someone who neither believes nor thinks. Whereas in fact, this will be true. Uh, as William and Bogle cite his definition of the economy. And in the novel, nothing to be cited for, William Mark has made a statement that I don't believe in God, but I have this And these are the references for the records of reproduction and human. And uh, thank you, thank you. Now, as you will see on the screen, the equation uh, which happens to be 
and was used as a multi-level generator for self-processing elements and an intertextual blending of different variety forms. In some of the paragraphs, we use this first person generator to one to this part, then we use this first person generator. Uh, even this board of uh, board conditioning power to drop to this second end. And we also uh, put on the process of data learning training. The definitely experience is negative. The subjectivity of the group and the identity is very important. However, despite the painful and painful decision with language, style, and form, fast fiction is also grounded in psychological reality. And these things are very serious, poignant, and heartfelt. He frequently addresses the nature of love, particularly in that side. And he also addresses his own dark. Uh, uh, and through the narrator of Tony, through the narrator Tony, he also addresses uh, human beings' own dark self, exploring uh, human mental capacity for jealousy, obsession, and infidelity alongside a very young quest for the community. Let's be strong. Let's be all understanding Aristotle's poetics when he mentions that uh, tragedy is an action that is serious, complete, and of course, it may be throughout. Uh, 
so the diameter of motion is equally regular. Along with the factor of motion, there is no underlying who serves the both of but about but to that diameter we introduce radar. Here, the motion was spelling in time thick and he is very angry with us. He does not directly appear into the novel that serves our thought significantly. And the adjective we can use for him was like and we stands by considering him as a visual. Hobson is a character who committed suicide when he was about the age of 15 or 16. Of course, we don't have the exact age, but relying on the reference shared by Tony, he commits suicide at the age of 16 or 15 and this character helps to understand this novel's central character, Vivian Green. And the notion that both his girlfriend is pregnant and his girlfriend needs a letter to Now, the notion's girlfriend is also a very, uh, very minor character. Also can be seen as invisible character. And about uh, down is also and the one character, some of the character is a down who spreads rumor that both the hopes and die because his girlfriend was pregnant. Of course, uh, equally as only we also know for that was a rumor of that. So the down who supplied the rumor of hopes and suicide and pride related to this act and also informed to his four friends about the letter of Robson's girlfriend. So, the uh, next character is Mr. Ford, as we know that Mr. Ford Mabini, uh, and Mr. Ford is very much father as a civil servant, which is Sarah Ford, very much mother, and Jack Ford, very much was brother, completed his final year at Cambridge. Etienne heard about him in magazine article for the first time. He was healthy and stout in young man, and Tony approaches him many times in the novel uh, in the latter part to meet Harold or to arrange meeting with him. Now, Ellen is American traveler, traveler like Tony, as Tony says. Tony and Annie became lovers easily and quickly. If we talk about how to and base of them, then she was pleasure, a green green eyes and a friendly man. As Tony refers to her as easy love, easy to, she shaved and she made it. Margaret. Margaret is the character who wanders specifically upon the theory of female age versus mysterious woman, or rather, in the second part of the of men being is attracted either one sort or the other. Margaret's comment upon women. Margaret used to say that there are two sorts of women: those with the female age women and those who imply. And that this was the first thing, uh, first thing a man sent, and the first thing that attracted Tony or not, some men are drawn to that, some do. This Margaret, Margaret is a character who was a big version by the characters as Tony for Margaret doesn't live. Margaret E. Margaret's comments on women for beautifying their fact. Margaret used to say that women often made the mistake of keeping their head inside their aerofed when they were at the most effective. They hung no after it became inevitable. All because they were. Of the of the there is a 
interesting point when we are looking at the character of Margaret. It's a point slight one of N that he has given that that N was Tony's first girlfriend. Whether she was, she was or not, we discuss further. Margaret uh, and at the end of the novel, Tony found that Margaret as a nice driver who treats Carl properly and also a nice driver. And when putting this character, we can say that Margaret is the character who listens to ask pertinent questions and she understands and perhaps this because of this, Tony, Tony uh, discusses and approaches Margaret when they catch whatever the stuff happens. He, his first insight is, is to talk or to fall or to lead to the character of Margaret. The next is Susie, Margaret and Tony's daughter after three years of their marriage, after Margaret and Tony divorced, Suri's custody was shared, as we also discussed earlier. Suri has a husband and two children, a daughter and a son. Tony carries that photo with him in his pocket. Then, uh, so, uh, people started calling Suri to Suri as if you uh, as if you know. And Ken is Suri's husband and a daughter. Now, this is the character of Adrian's mother. You will get something and more of this in something more related to all this, uh, related to this particular character, Adrian, later on. Now, just keep in this mind, Adrian's mother, she comes to meet Adrian and his sister and his father to the end. They never meet at that as when her grandparent mother was living. And uh, one interesting point also is that when Tony questions Adrian's mother's loyalty towards family, he remains at all silent. He does not show any disrespect towards her, towards her mother. Now, the next character is Caroline. This character also plays an important role as uh, uh, we have from the point of dying that Margaret tells story about Caroline. She will um, Caroline had a husband and two small kids. Caroline had a two small husband and a uh, sorry, had a husband and two small kids. She didn't have any uh, suspicions or anything. Kara, but the uh, which point we need to keep in mind is Carol is to be this girl style and it was full of demonstration. It gives a supportive mind to the novel, central name to the at the end is there. Now, Professor Paul John Hunt. He is history professor. Very interesting points are points. We can discuss for his character. Uh, he is a kind of a professor who identifies students and brings different unique and wider aspects to look at the history and students' classroom discussion with him, uh, with, uh, with him produces beautiful and healthy discussions of his. And through these discussions, we are having. Uh, we have many uh, definitions, we have different kinds of definitions for the history which, uh, which will be quite surprising and difficult, uh, difficult to accept as history from the personal perspective. He also asks students to detect the origin of the personal world, specifically the responsibility, responsibility of are you friends, Ferdinand's assistant for starting the whole thing? He had guided his 
lethargic in its skew, the dolorous asteroids, victorious and heroines, rise of empire and its subsequent decline. Equally, English professor Fidelson, after hearing the lecture with Professor Paul Jordan, dispensed at the English period with Fidelson. And he gives, uh, so in Fidelson also gives poet to study in class without, uh, without giving the name of poet. As we have also, we might have also discussed this in our class when we were in Paragraph 7 or 72. Now, the character of Oli. Now, the very interesting points are coming out. Very interesting characters uh, coming out with a big and point. Oli. Oli had read uh, all friends of uh, Tony, Edgar, and Oli, Alex, including my own, had read different kinds of authors. And uh, their perspective also goes with that. Oli had read Oli, Alex, and those who were this span of 19th century European author like Holy Hat and Rosemary, Holy shared this Zoki, this Zoki ironic attitude too, coupled with the two intellectual figures. Holy embraces an ironic view of the universe, according to which there is no argument being and everything is left with us. Now, Next character is Colin's mother. This is also a very minor character, and she referred to Tony Webster as his dark angel. We are using his book, Colin's dark angel, means to use in a level sense for Tony, that Tony was a dark angel. Now, the next character is Alex. Uh, or Alexander. Alex is considered a hero of God among the among the group among the among all among the three friends before Edgar went to know. And Edgar had read Russian and Billy. He shares detail of Edgar's suicide story later on, who was traveling around the United States, United States when it happened. When it happens with when of our event, Edgar being committed Susan. Next character is Marshall. Marshall is classmate of Tony Rapson, uh, Edgar being Colin and Alex. He was a cautious. As his professor remarks, no nothing but to lay the imaginary mess of the universe. He searched for the possible hidden complexity in the question before eventually locating a And the unrest versus great unrest comes also to this character. As Tony says, we like yes versus no, place versus name, gain versus innocent, or in Marshall's case, unrest. But it is a great example. Perunica is straightforward, clear, committed, and consistent in relationship. More realistic and practical character than a Gentry and Tony Tony himself is the first part of the movie. Tony mentioned that Veronica wasn't very different from other girls going there at the time. We are lacking this point directly and comes to the little meaning of Veronica's girl. There is Veronica, Mary, and Elizabeth. Then what can be the answer to this? It signifies her happiness. Self improvement, stubbornness, and ignorance. She is called Erika as because of her way of controlling men, the way Queen Alisa has used to rule over India. It is connected with her being 
being told to look at, it is connected so because of the theme of the subject. She used to carry his heart and unmet of with any other that justified her recommendation. But can be the particular answer, answer is of course. Tony, uh, Tony has mentioned that she was not the different girl of the time. But he himself has found among writers in Veronica two chaps. William Hampson, John Rezins, Einstein, Seven, Rooms uh, and Seven, Runciman, Richard Pollard, and Bishop John Robinson. And interesting point here comes to me. Veronica despised Boy and Tchaikovsky, whom Tony adopted. Now, it up to us that to consider the character, uh, it's up to us that can we consider the character of Veronica Tchaikovsky or not? Or is she nearly a designated character or not? We discuss later on more. We see this in our work for you. Now, the character of Adelphi. This is a character who proves the suicide philosophy. Of course, when you all might have heard of her, heard of the gap about the person around, around us who, have, uh, who has committed suicide. And how this affects to us, or how, or how our action affects to that character. And he is a tall and a shy boy, a student of philosophy. He loved his mother and respected his father. For this character, we can ask for his character to be part to justify the character. the 
only two philosophical questions as Adrian read mistake and outcomes. Now, protagonist of this moment, Sandman Ed, who narrates the story, who is supposed to be introduced at the very first, introducing at the very last. So, I introduce the character of Tony in first person narrative. The way Tony narrates the story, I also narrate. And you have decided the character of Tony from that. I'm sure, friend, you will get you will get the exact thoughts of this character from this. Here it is. How often do we tell the story? Do we listen to the story? Then listen to us. What do we think? You must have to listen another part of the scenes. When you think that this is the only true side of the story, you must how to look at the story from other side. Dear friends, you should change your faith, classes, and beliefs. That is always a crisis in our memory. I want to tell you, I want to tell a story which had already happened in the past, but what happens is when I tell you, I give up. I remember the things, the only things which I like. I omitted my actions for which I am responsible for exactly what happened to me, which affects my life. I blame situations and people who were there and I had done some particular things. I remember the characters from some of the novels and compare why I am something that they had been but I never changed my position. And then, I never know a lot of people are suffering just because of me. I made a mistake in my young age and I made it under the people. At the end of my life, I came to know that I was the responsible for all who are suffering and what and what exactly happens to others only because of me. At the very last stage of my life, I know that the whole life which I was living, not only mine but everybody, or which is everyone's life, was also cloned, falsified just because of me. The damage assertion was done by me. Uh -huh. and then I think I am the victim of this damage rather than the damage. I just appeal to all of my friends to never give the judgment without knowing the other side of the story. And even this story belongs to you, just not in you, because no one is free. Everything is connected to everybody. Don't lie. And of course, also that. Don't write anything which you want to write in your diary. Think first, because as we know, the Tony is unreliable narrator. So think first, otherwise, remorse will end with the death of you. So, uh, so, uh, again. In place for the character of Tony Webster, now Tony Webster, who brings the theory of damage. This damage is superficially related in the novel's first part by Tony, being very much in compliance with the damage theory. And the other point is degrade versus remorse. Now, there is a very an interesting point, or say a kind of confusion, a big confusion, Tony Webster and Anthony Webster. So, the questions, the questions are Do all failure of his memory make him a liar or an unreliable 
Thus, being justified, would I conclude that history is the way of life? We think, is Tomorrow we will continue. Huh? Sir, from blur, blur will take 20 minutes. Blur, you have to take. Ah, no, not now. Tomorrow you take now. Okay? So tomorrow we will continue with the remaining part then. Okay? So we end our session here. So it's good, good work is done. Uh, 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 lots of pain is taken in recording. It is not easy task. 
but very tough task but still uh, the green screen uh, was used uh, somewhere even the glass board was used so it was good to see that you tried some uh, new things uh, in trying to uh, do all these things but uh, as you know that it is very tough uh, uh, it is better to come extempore and speak whatever is recorded it is fine but when we plan uh, pre recording it is very tough There's so many times we have to do reshooting lots of things we we forget uh, while the camera is on uh, and when uh, the reshooting of something happens uh, the tone voice everything changes <laughs> which obviously gives us a, a reminder that how tough is film making uh, in films they make in 3 months but you never find that the shooting is done on separate days it seems that it is done on a same day so that is why uh, acting is very tough uh, acting film making but we come to know uh, all those things when we uh, work with uh, all these tools also okay so uh, tomorrow we will uh, continue with uh, the remaining topics